Welcome back to the next episode of Meet the Pros. Today, we are meeting with Joe Valenti. Joe Valenti is a mortgage broker with bettermortgages.ca, and he's here to help answer one of the biggest questions I'm getting from clients right now, which is what's going on with interest rates? And if my interest rate is coming soon, due soon, what's my best option? Is it the fixed or the variable? So Joe, thanks so much for your time today and sharing your knowledge with us and trying to help answer one of these very difficult questions a lot of people are facing right now and trying to make sense of this whole interest rate and mortgages. So Joe, thanks for your time. Well, Paul, it's my pleasure. Of course, I'm very, uh, very happy to have this invitation to chat with you. Uh, like you, I reside in the West Island. I'm in Beaconsfield and I certainly uh, concur that this is a topic that's very present in everybody's minds. Uh, I coach soccer, I coach ringette, and before and after every game, every practice, that's what people want to talk about is what's going to happen to the value of my house and what's going to happen to interest rates. And very importantly, exactly what you just said, what's going to happen when my renewal comes up? Because uh, it does turn out that a, um, when interest rates were very low, uh, there was happily a good number of people that uh, had the sense to um, uh, lock in uh, lower rates when they could. Uh, some people um, uh, didn't, of course, and we're going to talk about them uh, as well in a minute. Um, but uh, every every story is different. Every situation is different. And um, some of the comments are going to make uh, will apply to all, all of your clients and some will apply only to some. But uh, let's we'll discuss that. Um, certainly what's happened since COVID has been historic. And that's not an exaggerated word. Uh, never before have we seen interest rates accelerate, move up up as quickly as we have seen in these last times. And of course, it's had a tremendous impact on lots of personal budgets. Uh, so for those folks that did buy, however, back in 18, 19, 20, uh, when prices were a little more reasonable, as you correctly say, they're now coming up for renewal. And um, they're going to largely be in two classes, you can expect those that had a fixed rate at a low rate, they've been smiling really happy and thinking they're really smart. And they were right. They were really smart to lock in at a low rate at that time. And there's the other class of folks that uh, had a variable rate, and they might well have been listening to a smart mortgage broker at the time that, that would correctly say, historically, variable rates are the way to go. I could show you almost any time slice that you like, and over a, an extended period of time, variable rates are almost always lower. Uh, or you know, a person who takes a variable mortgage will, in the end, pay less interest than their counterpart who paid a fixed rate. So that's great. And it's it's still true. It's still not untrue. So how is it then that we got in this little pickle where uh, someone with a variable rate is going to see their mortgage payment, say, go from 1500 to 2900 when that renewal comes up in 23 and 24? That's going to be really tough. So certainly a strategy for those folks is to recognize, um, at, for both fixed and variable, recognize that um, if you're in a fixed in particular, and you've been saving money, save money, because the time is going to come when that renewal is going to hit, it's going to be at a higher rate. However, whatever happens to rates going forward, you're very likely to be paying more per month on that mortgage. And you're going to need the cash to pay it. It's a very, you should be very highly motivated to suck some cash away uh, to make it that much easier, possibly to literally do a cash payment to lower the amount of your mortgage a period and thus obviously reduce the the monthly payment but start now don't wait until the mortgage renewal comes up get that bigger bill and find yourself really greatly inconvenienced by it it's going to be really it, it can be tough for a lot of folks variable or fixed my personal feeling for most of my clients today is i'm recommending variable and why uh if the bank prime rates are today around 7.2 and uh, that effectively means that you're going to get a uh, many of our of the clients that we'll talk to in Beaconsfield will therefore qualify for something like 6.3 today as a variable rate. Uh, that number is higher than the 550, something like that, that you get in a five-year um, uh, term. So that's true. The variable rate, once again, is higher than the fixed rate, which is weird. That's not normal, but it is the way it is today. The, the funny thing, though, is now if there's uh, just one, maybe two, rate decreases in the next three or five years, depending on the term you get, all of a sudden that variable rate could very well end up saving you. You'll end up paying less interest over that three or five year term than you would have with a fixed. And so now it comes down to what do you think interest rates are going to do? I personally think we're going to see at least one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe even four interest rate decreases by the end of 2024. In other words, we could see a whole percentage point lower. 
it's a perfectly reasonable thing to expect, especially given that we're now seeing signs of stress in the market. Un unemployment's coming up. Um, uh, lots and lots of homeowners are complaining about this. It's, 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 there's a lot of pressure in the system to compel the bank to pull things back. The difference between uh, paying, you know, 6, uh, 620, 630 on your variable versus the 570 that you could get on the fix. There's that, you know, 50 basis points difference. Uh, that's two uh, rate hikes, rate uh, lowering cycles. Um, that's what you're playing with. You do the math and you say, oh, I can tolerate maybe pay, risking a total of five or $7,000 in the hope that I might end up saving 10 or 15. That's logical. That's, uh, that makes good sense. So that's the way I look at it. And um, uh, of course, time will tell if, uh, if, if we're right. But I, I'd like to repeat, if I may, that it very much depends on uh, the needs of the client. There are absolutely circumstances in which variable is never appropriate. And the, the converse is also true for fixed. So it, it does vary a lot to, by couple, by household, by their personal circumstances. Well, Joe, I appreciate you sharing that information with us. You know, it's from what I'm understanding is that it's it's very tricky what's going on in the market and very hard to kind of um, uh, project what's actually going to happen. Nobody has that crystal ball. Uh, but what I am understanding from you is um, that the best course of action is kind of what you feel most comfortable with at the end of the day, as far as payments are go, go and tolerance for risk uh, and um, essentially making sure that your family is protected, right? You're not, you don't find yourself overextended, especially in these times where uh, mortgages and eggs cost way too much money. Right. Uh, so, you know, so Joe, thank you so much for your time today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that everybody uh, can get in touch with you. I'm going to attach all your information to this video. Uh, so of course, if they're coming up for renewal soon, uh, they can get in touch with you, uh, talk specifically about their situation, their mortgage and their needs. Uh, and I know that you're going to guide them in the right way to uh, give them the information they need to make the right decision for them. Joe, thank you so much for your time. It's my tremendous pleasure. I thank you very much. And I look forward to talking next time.